This is Kim from K Diamond Paints. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. I promise you, I am trying to get my act together. Hopefully, this is the second video I've put out like this week. So hopefully this is the second one. So when I talk to you about, I am very excited about my unboxing. I am doing like a little happy dance. But I want, before we do this unboxing, I want to talk to you. This is a new to me company, by the way. They have licensed art, so I'm very excited to get to them. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about a diamond painting event, little event that I am going to do in February. It's going to be February 1st through February 28th. It's going to be called Spreading a Little Diamond Painting Love, and that's what I'll be doing. Um, we're going to have prizes. You can follow along here. I'll have videos here and you can also participate over on Instagram. It's going to be diamond painting love or I'm sorry, hashtag diamond painting love 2021 over on Instagram. So if you want to follow along with the event and work on a diamond painting, you know, I am not at all critical or picky about what you want to work on. I am going to be working on a Valentine's themed diamond painting. So Hashtag Diamond Painting Love 2021 over on Instagram, and then you can watch here. So just to clear, just to be clear from the start, you do not need to follow me on Instagram. You don't need to subscribe here. However, I cannot think of any other way to randomly pick people rather other than comments. So if you can think of a way where you guys do nothing and I find you, but if you do nothing, how do I find you? That's my that's my problem. You know, anyone, anyone? Bueller. Bueller. So you have to at least comment is what I've come up with. You don't have to subscribe or follow, but you do have to comment. So then I will find random winners. We are going to do um, gift cards. I've got gift cards from, well, you're going to choose Michael's Hobby Lobby or Joanne. We're going to do $10 Tuesdays, so um, $10 Tuesdays is a um, $10 gift gift card to any of those craft stores that you would like, so you tell me if I pick your name. And then I have diamond paintings to give away. I don't know how many um, prizes I'm going to end up giving away. My grand prize will be announced February 28th. That is going to be a $40 gift oh. card to, as I said, either of those three stores. I haven't purchased the gift cards yet. As soon as you tell me what you want, I will go purchase it for you and send it off to you in the mail. So you don't have to finish anything. You don't have to complete anything. If you want to over on Instagram, the Instagram winners, I will pick randomly either from comments or from posts um, to that hashtag Diamond Painting Love 2021. Over here on my YouTube channel, I will pick randomly from the comments. And I'm not going to tell you where I'm choosing them from, so you can't game it that way. You guys just post and, you know, go along your merry way, and I will pick randomly from one of those three sources as we go along through February. So it's just going to be fun, you guys. No having to finish anything. No, no pressure. Pressure. No pressure. Just fun. Okay? Okay, you guys, enough about that. We have to get to an unboxing. I was contacted by Liza from Craft Ease. They do licensed art diamond painting. So this is the first time I've done something like this, I think. I did one from a company that has um, licensed art a while ago, but that was, um, I didn't do any licensed art. I did super cheap just something super, super cheap from them. I can post it here for you, the link, if you would like. Um, but for the most part, so this is the most expensive diamond painting I've ever showed you guys. But as I've said, you know, when you pay artists for their work, it's going to cost more. It just is, you, you, have, to, you have to pay them for their artwork. I mean, it's only the nice thing to do, right? So I know I do customs a lot, but crafties, does customs you guys they do custom diamond paintings they also have paint by numbers on this artwork so yahoo it is i have to do one of those paint by numbers those things look fun but i am very excited oh look at their box so this box was look it's 
not perfect, right? It is slightly bent, but it is not it is not destroyed in any way, so I would say this was successful. Here is their, I think I already showed it to you, but yep, here's their logo on their nice box. So very great. Um, let's check out how this is. No, oh, there we go. Looks pretty good in there, right? I agree, looks pretty good in there. So I wrestled a little bit with... Um, with doing this unboxing because it is more expensive and we all know how cheap I am, right? But this is gorgeous and I have had people asking me about licensed art. So for you guys, here we are. This is beautiful. This is from, I mean, I know it's all wrapped up still, but look at, can you see that? Look at how, whoops. Look at how clear that is already. Okay, it'll be much clearer once I get out of the plastic. Keep moving, right? Keep going. This is from an artist, David Lovelaw. He is based in Toronto, Canada. This is so nicely wrapped. Ooh. This is not like a super soft canvas, like some um, some people, you know how it's almost like material, but it's, it's fine. It's good. I like this stiff stuff actually when I'm doing a little bit bigger because um, I like the stability it gives. So that's just me personally. Wow. Look at those colors. Isn't that beautiful? I don't know how many colors are on here. I know I could have looked it up, but I wanted to be surprised. Here's their toolkit. So let's just take a look at this because this is a new company. Um, we have, wow, oh, look at we have two rectangles of wax, and I always say, right, these are my favorite because you can get 10 placers on these. And if you look right here already, we can see, I think we're going to be able to use a 10 placer on this. Speaking of multi-placers, they have given me here, so let's say five or six. Can you guys see that? Right, right there. What does that say? Sometimes it's easier to see through the camera. Whoops. You know what? I don't think it says. I think that's just a blip. Five or six, five or six. So, and a straight, and this is a three. So, yep, the rectangles, white boat. These are, oh my gosh, these are silver that are not bent. I think I've had these before, but not, usually when it's silver, it's bent. But that'll work. And then two grippers for your pens. Perfect. So, that's a nice toolkit. We'll put that off to the side. This is poured glue. We can see that from the front here that we've looked um, so that you don't have to really check out the back. If you have um, double-sided adhesive, then you do, but this is going to turn out wonderfully because it's poured glue. Should we see the image? Are you guys ready? I'm so very excited. They con Liza contacted me and she said, choose. I'm like, choose? Really choose? All right, I'm going to choose. And when I went there, oh, there was no question. Oh. Look, oh, it's beautiful. Yes, you can see that perfectly. As I said, this is artist David Lubla. This artwork is called Jellyfish Ride Summer Flat 27. Wow, what a name, huh? Jellyfish Ride. I love it. So how many colors are here? Look at this beautiful key with the thumbnail. I'll put the thumbnail up here. I'll put the um, picture from the website here and they also had the canvas picture here and i believe the price on this is 45.98 the canvas size does it say on here this is a 40 by 50 i'm sorry 50 by 40. here's our key so let's take a look and very nice key i don't know what do you guys think this means Oh, it's below. So I think this has some ABs in it. This one too, right? This looks special. We've got 25 colors total. Wow, did, wouldn't you think there'd be more colors when you see this kind of craziness down here? Yeah, but look, oh, this is my favorite. If, if you've seen me unbox before, I say this a lot. I love the combination of multi-placing and confetti because you get sick of getting confetti you're like oh man you know opening up boxes. i know people have different ways around that 
Um, but you know, you're like, oh, it just gets so tedious sometimes. And then when you're like this, then you can hit these huge spots of multi-placing. That is fun to me. This is my favorite. Oh, I love this. And come on now with the pink. Let's check the stick. It's great. I would say this is the gold. This is my Goldilocks standard of, you know, that's too much, not enough, just right. This is the just right stick. So I call that my Goldilocks scale. Should we measure it since we've never used this company before? All right, I have to go get a tape measure. I'm, I'm not used to that. Hold on. Okay, here we go. As I'm measuring this, I also want to say they have other artists. They have um, Sybil Art. I know I've seen her at a different company, you guys. I can't remember. Can you guys tell me, mention it down below for others, but um, they have a lot of her artwork here. They also have Ali um, Gullick. She has, they have other artists too. So it is really incredible, the artwork that they have. This is 50. It's, I'd say one, one millimeter off of 50. So we're calling it 50 because that's 50. So typically I don't care about measurements, but I will put the link for you here to my last video and you'll see my disparaging of measurements came back and got me. <laughs> came back and got me and by 40. So I would say they were like one millimeter off either way, which please, that's 40 by 50. That is a 40 by 50. Perfect. This company is hitting all the right notes, aren't they? Perfect. So they have, so let's take one more look at this and then we'll let's look at the drills. Ooh, ah, look at, they have, oh, you guys, no guide circles. So they have squares around the color, right? But they have no guide circles. I know some people hate guide circles. I myself like them because I am... I'm lazy and fast. <laughs> fast and lazy? Who, who would be that? Fast and lazy. That's like the tortoise and the hare, right? I'm the hare. Fast and lazy. But okay, let's look at the let's look at the drills. Here we go. We'll put this off to the side. Okay, here we go. So I'm really interested in these because they talk about, and let me put it up here while I'm trying to get this open. They have, um, it says poured blue canvas, and then it says ultra shiny star AB diamonds, and then shiny color diamonds. So, and I think it said there was two of them, and we did see on the canvas that something was different, right? And look at these. Is this the background? You know what? I want to pull it up one more time. Is it 939 that's the background? Is there a 939 on here, you guys? Let's look really quick. Is there 310? No, there's no 310. There's no, oh, there it is. Nine, there is a 939. So I'm interested to see what this background color is. That's going to be great if it's all blue. I love that. I love it when you use a different color. So here we go. Uh, let's see what they have on here for packaging. This is the number. This is the code, right? This is the code for the canvas. And it's dated. How weird is that? Um, so, but as you just saw, they have the DMC on the canvas. So no big deal. So let's check these things out. There we go. Beautiful purples. It does look like there's a little dust in the packaging, but that's, please, don't worry about that. Oh, oh, it's a rhinestone. You guys, they're not, so when they say ultra shiny star AB diamonds, it is a rhinestone, not an AB. Typically, let me, hopefully I have, let me just insert a picture for an AB. AB is Aurora Borealis, and usually it's a coating on a regular drill that makes it like iridescent. This isn't an iridescent drill, AB coated. This is a straight up rhinestone. How exciting. Oh, look, little rhinestone escaped. He was running for the purple. He's trying to run away. That's as far as he got. 
Look at these colors. I can't wait to start on this. I can't wait to see how these are. Ooh, look at all that blue. And here, this must be our 93. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at how much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is plenty of 939, but you could tell that from the painting. I mean, it's a 40 by 50 with a solid background. Here we go. Oh, oh, nope. I was wrong. Here's two more. Wow. Look at these. Whoops. Hold on. Because I want you to see this turquoise color. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. These are just, oh, here's our next one, blue. It's a blue rhinestone. That is fantastic. You know, if it has some rhinestones, I think I have some other leftover rhinestones. Should we try and um, jazz this thing up a little bit, right? Like Pimp My Ride? Do you guys remember Pimp My Ride? Oh, that was. My favorite. I loved that show. We're going to, we'll jazz this thing up. Maybe we'll add some more. I hate to do that on my first time using a new company, but, um, because usually, you know, you just like, it's like trying out a recipe. You want to do it the right way first and then add, but with these rhinestones in it, sure adds to the whole thing. So here we go. This is craft ease. They have licensed artwork, you guys. This is David Lublaw, Jellyfish Ride, Summer Flat 27. 40 by 50, poured blue. I mean, just gorgeous. The drills look beautiful. We've got to get started on this, right? Absolutely beautiful. I want to thank Liza at Craft Ease for contacting me. I just love this. This is just beautiful. I mean, the canvas is really lovely. The artwork is really lovely. Um, the drills look lovely. What more can we say? It's lovely. And lovely. You guys, look for more information about my Spreading a Little Diamond Painting Love event. That's February 1st through the 28th. And have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.